You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back, then baby Hey y'all, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. For today, I've got some favorite things. We've got stuff from Amazon. We've got health, fitness, clothing, knickknacks, all sorts of things. Let's go ahead and get into it. Gonna start off with a couple of things from Amazon first. So I have been living for these little hoop huggies. So I have this size. And then I've got these smaller ones here too. And they just really, really, they're tight. And, well, they're not tight, but they just hug the ear. Super, super cute. These, it was actually a three pack. They came together. Everything that I'm mentioning will be down below in the description. And also I'll have the link for my Amazon store too. Just kind of want to browse around in there and see what are some of my favorite things from Amazon. But I just love just very simple, dainty, nice pieces and especially things that I can just basically wear with any and everything day or night. Love it. It's super, super chic and I am in love with them. So these little huggy earrings. So with the bodybuilding competition in full swing of the season, your girl's doing a lot of traveling. I'm doing a lot of traveling for my own competitions that I'll be competing in and then with my business show day beauty, competition glam. So since I'm gonna be traveling a lot, I had to get some travel things here. So the first thing that I have, I've had this for a good bit, but this is my little travel toiletry bag. And so I like it because it has a lot of different compartments. So up here, so the stuff that's in here, these are my travel things. They just kind of stay in here. This is easy for me. So that way I'm not like always, you know, taking and forgetting things. So I have brushes here, some makeup brushes, mascara, liner, Natasha Denona Glam palette. But I love that it has all these little compartments. And then on the other side here, I have more things like hair products, toothbrush, facial cleansers and whatnot. And then, you know, girly things, tampons, <laughs> makeup remover and whatnot. So I love this bag. This color here, like I'm obsessed with the blush tone color. I'm a neutral girl, but I don't know. There's just something about this color I love. So this bag has come in clutch. I've been using it every time I travel. Next thing that we have here, this is another bag that I have. So it's a tote bag and I typically use this on show day. Um, I always have my competitors like whatever, like hairspray, lash glue, just little knickknacks that I might need to retouch them. And then also my own personal things, food and whatnot. So this little tote bag here, it's super, super cute. It says, hello weekend. It's very, very cute beach vibes. You have this little front pocket here and then it's a large size right now because I am getting ready to get on stage in a week. Um, I don't know when this video will be going up. However, I'm getting ready to get on stage. So I've just got my robe. I've got my bands for pump up. I've got my jewelry, needle thread, bikini bite, but it's just a really, really cute little tote bag that you can use for whatever you want. The next thing that I have here, it dawned on me to get this the last time I flew. I can't even remember where I went last, but I get so paranoid when I am waiting for my luggage. I'm always scared to death that someone is going to accidentally pick up my suitcase, especially because when I am traveling for work, I carry on what I can. So basically like anything that comes in palette form, like my palette foundations, palette blushes, my brushes, but then there are some liquids and things that I can't travel with. So I carry on the things that I know I can still get the job done, but I just always worry about someone accidentally taking my bag. So these little suitcase tags are very cute. This one, I'm going to put this on my bag. It says mine. I got a bunch of other ones too. It came in a pack. So this one says, and, it's, and they're funny. They're like little funny sayings. So this one says, not your bag. <laughs> Do not touch my luggage. Put it back. It's mine. Hands off and don't lose me. So this way, if someone accidentally grabs my bag, I'm praying that they will see that tag and realize, oh shoot, this ain't my bag. <laughs> 
I'm not someone that wears a ton of jewelry, especially when I travel. However, what pieces I do bring with me, it always annoys me because somehow my necklace or whatever the case may be gets tangled up. So this is just a cute little travel jewelry case. So I can, you know, connect my necklaces up here, earrings and everything. I like the size of it because I didn't want anything that was large, but I definitely wanted something that had enough room so that way my jewelry can fit in there. It's snug and I don't have to worry about things getting lost or tangled up. So this is definitely a must have. And then these little things here are also for packing in your suitcase. So they are these little bags here. And so I'm an organizer. I don't know about you guys. I'm an organizer. I'm a planner. I just like things to be nice and in place and functional. So these little travel bags. So let's say I might have one for underwear and then I might have another one for, I don't know, like t-shirts, pajamas, but it came in a pack of one, two, three, four, and they're different sizes. So this one here, yeah, that's a bigger size there. I haven't used these yet. However, they are going to come in handy and I love them. Again, the same neutral tone. And the reason why I got these was just simply because, like I said, whenever you travel, you get your luggage back. In the airport, I know they're doing the best they can, but sometimes you get your bag and all your stuff is just thrown about all over the place. So definitely these are going to come in handy for all of my travel needs. And moving on to some health fitness things. This little bag here, so this is currently my little bag that I take with me to work. Um, it holds my iPad that I have for work. I have my vlogging camera. I put my meals in here. I've got my phone charger, deodorant, just, you know, all the little essentials that I will need. This is by Wolfpack Bags. A ton of bodybuilders have these. So this is the small size. They do have ones that are way bigger. And while those are nice, it looks like I'm getting ready to go to war because they're just so big. Like they're bigger than my body. And I just, I don't know. It was just a little too big and bulky for my liking. However, when I saw this, I thought it was very, very cute. I've got my little Fit Body Fusion keychain up there. And then it comes with different patches that you can order. So I got the one that says bodybuilder, athlete, and I'm hoping that I will be able to get the IFBB Pro patch on here very soon we're speaking that into existence so i just love this bag very very cute i love the color so i love neutrals but i also love teal so when i saw this like tiffany blue deal i was like oh yeah that's coming home with me and it is the perfect size for me so this is my work bag knickknack bag whatever the case may be then I have mentioned this before. I've been using this for three years. Like these next few things I know I've been using for three years. Gallon gear. So I drink a gallon of water a day. It is a must, it is essential. The reason why I like this is because it's reusable. Yes, I could just go buy the gallon jugs, but then I'm like, oh, I have to keep buying them. Yada, yada, yada. This reusable cute little sleeve here when I'm in the gym I can just stick my phone in there this goes everywhere with me because got to get my gallon in and they also have a half gallon size as well I have that one too hang on let me go grab the half gallon so you guys can see it okay so here is my half gallon I use this one mainly on off season but still by gallon gear cute sleeve just a half gallon so if this is a little too obnoxious for you which I understand there is a smaller option and then protein powder you guys i have been using this for three years ever since i started my bodybuilding journey so i am someone who does have a little tish bit of a lactose intolerance here's let, let's talk really quickly okay because within the health and fitness community a lot of specific categories just get demonized don't eat carbs don't eat gluten don't eat dairy you can have those things, okay? But if something does not sit well with your gut, you don't need to eat it. You can have carbs. Carbs are not bad for you. Carbs are your brain power. Carbs are your fuel source. There's gonna be a total different from eating jasmine rice, sweet potatoes versus 
a bowl of pasta. They are not the same totally different types of carbs. So basically what I'm saying is for me, because I do have a lactose intolerant a little bit, I have to be mindful of what I'm consuming because dairy will just send me over the edge. It'll make my face break out. It'll just make my stomach hurt. I'll be constipated, bloating, just the whole thing. So I prefer a plant-based protein. Now the tricky thing is protein powders, just the tasting, no matter if they're plant-based or not. Sometimes they can just be yuck, but a lot of the plant-based ones just ain't that good. True supplements, makes a bomb one. This is my favorite one. I've been ordering this one for months now. This is the peanut butter banana cupcake. So delicious. It is organic brown rice. The thing that I love about True Supplements is that it's safe if you're pregnant. So I was just kind of like, okay, if this is safe for pregnant women to use, for children to have, then I can definitely have it myself. I also want to preface this by saying, you should not be using a shake to supplement as a meal, okay? A protein shake is in conjunction. I know a lot of people like to do that. Oh, well, I'll just have a shake as a meal replacement. No, 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 no. Your shake should be in addition. I love this. And you can also use code Amber P and I believe that will give you 10% off. Okay, moving right along, we've got some fitness apparel. So in one of my vlogs where you guys spent the day with me, I went shopping. My two favorite brands for fitness apparel, DSG and Lululemon. Lululemon, we know it's great, it's expensive. We're not talking about her right now. However, DSG is Dick's brand, so Dick's Sporting Goods, okay? So this sports bra that I have on is by them, and so are the leggings. I'm gonna stand up so you guys can see. So here is this bra, it's super, super cute. I don't have large boobs, so therefore, support's not a thing for me. Of course, if you're a little bit more well endowed, then yeah, you probably need a little bit more support, but I like that it looks like a tank top, and I also love the crisscross in the back, so I have it in this color, and then I also have it in this tan neutral color, and I got the size medium just simply because I've built the development in my back, and I found that my bras are really starting to squeeze me on my lats and just being uncomfortable, so actually, I love, 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 these bras and then these leggings that I have on as well. These are by DSG. I bought these last year. One of my favorite things about these leggings are your phone can just easily fit in there. Super, super easy. They don't give. I will say the only thing about the leggings, these leggings is like lint is easily attracted to them. However, you could just lint roll. So love my leggings and sports bra. A couple of other DSG options I have here. Just, I have this bra in blue and red. Then we have the shorts to go with it. Now I love these shorts because they are longer. So I'm tall, I'm 5'8". So I can't remember, what is the inch? Is it six inches? I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'll make sure everything's down below. I like my shorts, especially when it's like the spandex kind to be a little bit longer, just simply because it's inevitable, right? They're gonna ride up. So if these do ride up, I don't feel like my ass is hanging out because I'm just, that's not me, that's not my ministry. I don't like that. So I like my shorts to be a little bit longer. So then if they do ride up, I don't feel like they're too short for me and I'm uncomfortable because I hate walking around and just pulling at your shorts all day because they're too short. That's not the vibe, it's not cute. So I love these. Unfortunately, these are too big for me right now because I'm one week out from my competition as I'm filming this. I don't buy clothes for my stage size because I won't be my stage size for a long period of time. So I just buy my normal size. Um, these are, let me see, yeah, these are in a medium. So I have the blue pair, black pair, red pair. They also make great shorts as well. And these shorts, I believe, are, yeah, these shorts are in a small. And then I have these tank tops. I just bought these and I talked about this in my vlog as well, but so cute. And I got the tank in size medium as well. And I'm going to leave the tank on because I like it. So if you have not checked out DSG brand at Dick's, Dick's Sporting Goods, 
highly recommend you check them out. I don't hear anybody talking about them. Like, yo, DSG, sponsor your girl. Hit me up. <laughs> Maybe you guys should like tag them or something. I don't know. That would be, I haven't, I've never had a sponsorship before, but that is definitely one that I would happy, happily take. <laughs> Next up on the list here, I got myself a new jean jacket because I outgrew my other one. It was a size small and because I built up development in my back, like I just said, in my shoulders, I was walking around like this. It was very uncomfortable. So I got a new one in a bigger size. I don't like my clothes to fit tight. <laughs> That's just, I don't know. I like to be comfy. So absolutely loving my new jean jacket. I feel like it's not too tight and squeezing me. I have room to move. The next two pieces I have are from Old Navy as well, and they are just dresses. Now, the right thing to do would be try it on so you guys can see. I'm so sorry, I don't feel like it. And I'm not like a fashion vlogger, but anywho, <laughs> if you guys want to see these on, I guess leave it in the comments and in the next vlog, I can do so. However, you all have seen dresses before. I like this because it is long. Again, I am 5'8", so therefore, if something is hitting right here on my thigh, I know it's going to rise up a little bit. So I just always like to account for when something is going to rise up on me. So I just got this tan neutral dress, which I think is really cute. I'm probably going to be wearing this when I go to Charleston in May. And then I have another one. This is a really, really pretty color as well. This one is longer and it also has two slits here. This is very, very cute. Very simple. All of my pieces are always very simple. I don't do a lot of loud payout in your face or trendy pieces just simply because I like for my things I just kind of work year round now of course like something like that last dress is definitely more so of like a spring summery color but you know now the next couple of things are my jam I love a good graphic tee all right so I need it more t-shirts because like I said, your girl has grown it's so interesting how I'm lean for stage but my muscle development i've grown so much so you guys lift weights everyone wants to tone and sculpt the body and in order to do so you have to lift weights there's no secret there's no other way doing cardio constantly around the clock is not going to do anything for you when you are doing cardio and you drop the body fat but you didn't lift weights so then there's nothing left so now you just look sad and soggy that's not the vibe. Pick up some weight, sis. So I love this tee. These are from Old Navy as well. So I got the Gold's Gym tank top, not tank top, t-shirt. I have, haven't worn this one yet. This is so nostalgic. Nickelodeon. Oh my goodness. The good old days. And then I am a die hard Marvel fan, okay? As a little girl, I was always fascinated with superheroes like I liked the Barbies and the whole princess thing but the superheroes the idea of helping others you know fighting for good light I don't know that's just always resonated with me so anytime I see a Marvel shirt I'm like yes please give it to me I need it love this one here next up I have a couple of things from Target y'all know I don't play when it comes to shoes, okay? Working in the salon, I stand all day long. In fact, I have always had a job that I've had to stand. Ever since I started working at 16 years old, I worked in childcare, I was a waitress, I coached gymnastics for seven years, and now doing hair. I've never sat with doing hair. You have to take care of your body. I am probably going to do a video coming up soon. Things I wish I knew about working in the salon because April made 10 years, a whole decade that I have been working in the salon. Like that is mind blowing to me. However, I need comfort on my feet 
and these slides here I like them because they have like this little braided situation so it's not just like a Nike slide right so it looks a little bit dressier it's got support and I love the neutral color I can wear this with so many different things dress it up dress it down and then I picked up some more t-shirts um, one of the t-shirts is in the dirty clothes, but I will add a picture right here. Spice Girls, nostalgic. I was a Spice Girl fan. I went to the Spice Girl concert and I was in the fifth grade and I was living my best life. So that t-shirt, and it's so funny because when I was with my best friend, Lauren, shout out to Elle. And when I picked it up, I was just kind of like, oh, this isn't going to fit me. It's too short. I thought it was a kid's shirt, but it was supposed to be a crop, but I got a large because I didn't want it to be super, super short, but love that. Also, I love Mario, anything Mario, nostalgic, just I'm living my childhood dreams right now, okay? So Mario, and then I saw this and I was just kind of like, how can I not, Princess Tiana, like, come on, come on. And I got a size medium in these two, and then did I get an eight and a half or nine in this? I got a nine in the sandals. And then the last couple of things that I have here are these mom jeans from American Eagle. I will pop a picture or video up on the screen. These are also in the dirty clothes as well. My goddaughter Mackenzie picked these out. If you watched my Arnold Classic vlog, I was wearing them in there. These are so comfortable. So I was not with the whole mom jean movement just simply because I have the mindset of I work so hard, 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 hard to get my glutes right, nice, tight, and perky. And I'll be daggone if I'm gonna wear some jeans that makes my butt look flat. These don't make my butt look flat, <laughs> so that's good. But I love that they actually fit my waist and I have room in the legs. I did size down though, so my true size is a size four. But because I knew the mom jean was overfit, I didn't want it to be too, too big on me. So I did go down to a two and it fits perfectly. I still have room in my waist. It's still a loose fit and I love it. I'm definitely going to get some more because I love how they fit. And then last but not least, my iPad. I got the iPad mini. I have the iPad Air, but I want it to downgrade. Like I'm, I'm kind of at this point in my life where I just want everything minimized and simple. I did have to, well not have to, I ended up getting a new laptop because I gave my MacBook Pro to my mom because she didn't have one and I knew she really needed it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give her that one and I'll just buy me a new one. So I was just kind of like, there's no need for an iPad Air and a laptop. So. I use this for work, so it is essential. I need it, but I just didn't need something as big. So this is great because it's smaller. I can use it for work. It fits in my bag. I like to use my iPad for work when I'm checking out clients. I take notes in here. I journal in here. So yeah, I absolutely love, love, love. And guess what, friends? That is going to be the end of my current favorites down below. Let me know what your favorites are. What are you currently into? Whether it be fashion, tech, health and fitness, whatever it is, tell me in the comments. I would love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the love and support, all the sweet comments. They do not go unnoticed. You know the deal, keep it simple and I will see you in the next video. Peace.